Hello everyone, my name is LaShawn and welcome back to my channel, Jibuna Life. Today I thought I'd try something different. So this is the first time I'm appearing on camera on this channel. And the reason I'm doing so is because I want to share this budget spreadsheet that I have uh, with you. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. All right. So what we're looking at right now, this is um, how much debt I have currently in Japan. And I've been living here for 11 years now. And out of the 11 years, this is the first time I've actually been in debt in Japan. And there's a good and not so good <laughs> reason for that. So let's just go over it. Uh, first up, just a quick note. Um, because everything's in Japanese yen, uh, just so it's not so like confusing or scary for anyone, if you just take like two decimal places away from a number, that'll give you the basic equivalent of what it is in US dollars. So for example, when you see this balance here for 657,314 yen, um, just take two decimal places away from that. So you would stop at the three. At the dot and one four, and so you get six thousand five hundred seven seventy three dollars and like fourteen cents is basically what it would be in U.S. dollars. Okay, so that's an easy way to convert it for twenty twenty two. I am currently uh, seven hundred eighty eight thousand one hundred fifty six yen in debt, so almost eight thousand dollars in debt, um, which sounds like a lot, but it's actually really not bad um, when you hear how high it used to be. Uh, so I went to a coding boot camp at the end of 2020 and finished at the beginning of 2021. And I found my first job um, in March and I started working there in April. And after I'd been working there for a couple months, I had to pay back how much I owed for the coding boot camp. So the coding bootcamp, um, the balance I had remaining was 953,220 yen. So roughly $9,500. Um, and so you can see that since August 12, 2021, I've been paying on it each month until I finally made my last payment today. Yay. So that is why there's this zero here because my coding bootcamp is paid off. So I'm so glad to have that done with. Um, but since I started my new job as a software engineer, um, my salary basically doubled compared to what I was making as an English teacher. And lifestyle creep, if you're familiar with that term, kind of got a hold with me. Um, lifestyle creep is like, as your income increases, so do your spending habits and your lifestyle expenses. So I thought, oh, congratulations me. I finished this coding bootcamp. I deserve something nice. And I was really dumb. I spent a ton on designer handbags and goods. Well, specifically, I bought a Fendi handbag um, for 1 million yen. So it's like, ten thousand dollars yeah i know don't, don't yell at me in the comments um but as you can see that's almost paid off i love the handbag it's very beautiful um but i wish for my first designer bag i would have went with something much cheaper because the problem is it's so expensive that i'm kind of like too scared to use it because i'm afraid of damaging it Anyway, so yeah, that started out over a million yen and now it's down to 130,842 yen. At the rate um, my payments are currently going, I will have it paid off next month. And I also bought a wallet from Louis Vuitton, uh, some sunglasses from Dior, a used bag, like a pre-loved bag from Bulgari. And last month I was dumb again and I bought a handbag from Chanel uh because if you're into luxury goods you would know that prices have been going up like crazy and i thought 
okay, if I don't buy one now, it's going to be insanely expensive and out of my price range. So I went ahead and bought a flap bag from Chanel. Since my boot camp is paid off, um, all of this balance that you see here for the 788,000 yen is just for luxury goods. And I plan to pay 300,000 yen per month on these until they're paid off. Um, so it'll take me three months um, because I only get paid once a month, uh, but it'll be paid off within three months, which I think is not too bad. So if I come over here to my savings, I have, <laughs> I'm gonna update this now but I have a small savings account that I haven't used in a while, like a year or so. This is sitting there with 560 in it, so five bucks. And I decided I'm gonna use that account for my emergency savings. So that's my emergency savings account. And here are my total debts that you see from this page here. It just gets imported automatically. And so my Japan net worth is negative, which is sad. Um, but like I said, it's only for three more months. Uh, so today it is March 25th and I just deposited uh, 55,000 Japanese yen. So now you can see my balance automatically went up uh, to 55,506 yen. Um, my goal is to have 500,000 yen in this emergency savings account and to just leave it and not touch it unless something really bad happens. Um, because you really need emergency savings set aside in Japan, like at least that'll get you through a couple months because there's so many natural disasters. We have earthquakes and tsunami and typhoons and you name it. So you always have to be prepared to either cover damages or to cover plane tickets to get the heck out. <laughs> So at least with 500,000 yen, it should be enough to book a flight out for me and my daughter and my husband if we need to, or to repair our home if we need it. So that's what I'm going to be aiming towards um, for the rest of the year. Um, after I finish paying off this debt here, then I can just basically dump a whole bunch more money into the emergency savings to help it reach that 500,000 yen goal a lot quicker. Okay, so here's a look at my private student loans. And currently I have three of them. Uh, the smallest one is for $1,881.92. Um, this is the one I plan on paying after I get my emergency fund up to 500,000 yen then I'll focus all of my money into the private student loans. Um, so I should be able to pay uh, this first one and a good chunk of the second one off uh, within one month. Um, and then over the course of two more months, maybe three, um, I should be able to finish paying off both C and D. So either by the end of this year or early next year, I should have all of these private student loans repaid. So the amount that is currently owed is total is $9,376.50. $9, and so let's take a look at how much I make and what my budget for the month is actually like. And please let me know if you can see this okay or if everything's too big or too small. First up, I just got paid today. I got 409153 sorry, 50 one, <laughs> I can't say numbers anymore. 409,165 yen. So basically I make 4,000 US dollars a month and I'm spending 3,000 of that on student loans, which is a lot. And some of you may be wondering, how am I doing that? Well, I don't have to pay rent and utilities, thankfully. Um, because my husband is covering all of that. So I just need to pay down my debt and save up for emergencies and whatnot. This month, um, I just had my regular paycheck, uh, but in future months, I might get some from a side project that I am working on called Find a Doc. So I plan on putting uh, 35,000 yen into my emergency savings 
uh, once the next payday rolls around. Um, I just want to keep this in my checking account in case anything unexpected happens, then I can use it. Uh, I have these three rows for budgeted actual indifference. Um, so you can see like for my daughter's savings account, I budgeted 10,000 yen and I already deposited 10,000 yen. So there's a difference of zero yen here. I deposited that today. Uh, for the baby fund, we would like to have a second child. So that's something we need to start saving for um, because it's a bit expensive. Uh, so every month I wanna put 10,000 yen into that as well, um, but I haven't done that as of yet, uh, because we need to actually set up another savings account for that. So my total savings budgeted is 55,000 yen. And so far I have used 10,000 yen of that. So there's a difference of 45,000 yen. Moving on for my credit card, that is basically um, what I showed you here in this debt spreadsheet. Um, I pay off 200,000 each month on the credit card currently, but from next month, that will be 300,000. So I pay 2,000 US dollars now, but I will pay 3,000 US dollars for next month. Um, and that's because I just finished paying off my coding bootcamp, okay? Uh, so for the total debt payments, um, the reason there's a difference here of 330 yen is because I had to transfer this money to my husband's account because that's where the credit card payments come out of. And I got charged a 330 yen transfer fee. So I need to account for that next time. So here are my sinking funds. Uh, my phone uh, costs 3,300 yen, somewhere around there. Sometimes it's a little bit higher. It's gone up to 3,600 yen. Um, so I tried checking to see how much it will be for the next month, but the statement wasn't ready yet. Also, I budgeted 1300 yen for I Apple iCloud, but it ended up coming out of another bank account. I forgot to change the payment method. So that's why this is zero here. Uh, Square Enix is just for um, online game I like to play, but there's no fee for this month. For medical fees, that includes like going to the clinic and the medication, I have 5,000 yen. Dental is 3,000 yen, food is 4,000 yen. For my hair, I have 10,000 yen because I have a lot of gray hairs. Like, I'm not that old, I'm 37, but <laughs> I started going gray in high school. So yeah, I like to get it dyed black again, you know, back to black every few months or so. For clothing, I've budgeted 4,000 yen. And for family fun, uh, 4,565 yen. I just, this is a weird number because I just, I tried to do the zero base budget and whatever was left over, I just threw into family fun. So my sinking fund total is 35,165 yen. Okay, so if you look at my total deposits, it basically equals what my paycheck was, total debits, um, what I have planned between my debt payments and the sinking funds should equal exactly the same amount. So remaining balance is zero yen. Um, so far, uh, there's a difference of 79,835 yen, and it shouldn't be negative. <laughs> it should be in a positive, uh, so I need to fix that um, because there are a lot of sinking funds that I haven't paid yet. So once all of these are filled out, uh, this should equal somewhat close to zero. It'll probably be off this 330 yen, give or take. All right, so that's it for my Japanese bank accounts, all of my yen stuff. Um, I do still have an American bank account because I need to pay my student loans. So coming over here, you can see this side of the spreadsheet is in US dollars. So this first one here is Ezoic. And what Ezoic is, is an ad platform that shows ads um, on my blog and another small website that I have. And I get income from that each month based on how many people uh, saw those ads. Um, so I plan on getting $142.39 in ad revenue from Ezoic. I checked that and that is the exact amount I should get. 
I will also get $65.72 from Amazon Affiliates. And what that is, is whenever someone clicks a link, either in the description box of one of my videos or they click a link on my blog and they buy something from Amazon, I get a commission from that that doesn't cost that person anything extra. It's just something Amazon pays to me for directing traffic to them. And this miscellaneous income of $262.80 is what I had left over from my previous uh, months from Ezoic and Amazon. I ended up not spending all of that because my student loan payments are currently lower than usual um, since there's still the national emergency forbearance going on until May. So for my total income, I have $470.91, which is pretty nice you know, for passive income. Okay, so I don't have a savings account currently that I'm using in the States, so that is just set to zero. Then I have these five uh, student loans that I owe, um, two of them, sorry, three of them, which I previously mentioned to you. So for these first three loans right here, uh, these are the payments I'm going to be making on them. Uh, so, for example, this $90, $46, $35 payments, uh, they are set up to be automatic uh, payments. That's why I have this little star next to them. Um, so this automatic payment already came out. And when the other two come out, then I'll fill those in as well. For student loans four and five, those are my two really big ones. Uh, I don't owe anything with them right now because they are in forbearance. Okay. And then for my sinking funds uh, for Apple iCloud, because my phone ran out of space and it's usually what I use to record these YouTube videos, um, it was $10.79. So that was actually what I budgeted over here for 1300 yen, but it ended up coming out of my US account instead. Um, so that's why I had to add it over here. But I will change the payment method so it'll come out my Japanese account. So that's why I'm gonna leave it on the yen side. Uh, also for Ezoic Premium, um, that is, it's like this tier that they have. They have different tiers. And depending on your website traffic, if you pay like a membership fee, they will bump up uh, the quality of ads that are shown on your site so that you actually get more in return. So this fee is $55.30. And I'm guaranteed by Ezoic. So like to get anywhere between $65 to $80 extra back um, in ad revenue because I paid this fee. So you have to pay some to get some. It kind of sucks. But um, if I were to just leave that $55.30 in a savings account, I wouldn't get anything for it. So I might as well just give it to Exoic and get an extra $15 or $20 each month from it. I look at it that way. So my total sinking funds for the U.S., uh, this is totally wrong. Let's see, I need to fix this. Good. I wouldn't be surprised if this is off as well. Um, okay, so my total sinking funds is $55.30. Uh, so far, $10.79 have been paid. So that leaves a remainder of $44.51. Yeah. It's lucky I had that extra money um, left over from the previous months or else this would end up <laughs> in a negative, but that's why there's still a positive number down here. All of my deposits um, totaled $470.91 and my debits $172.64. That's not right. Let's fix that as well. Okay, I think that might be right. I'm going to double check it offline and get back to you. Um, like I said, this is my first time actually trying to do everything on a spreadsheet. And I like it so far, but I don't know if I'll stick with it. I still like to budget and write everything down just with pen and paper. Um, but I wanted to try something new. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, so yeah, that's my budget for this next month of March and what my debt payoff plan looks like. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you 
have any suggestions for me, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. Please be kind. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.